solve the nonlinear system of equations x squared plus y squared is equal to 25 and x plus y is equal to positive 1. So now since one of the equations has nonlinear terms or, or squared terms and the second equation doesn't, the best method we can use is the substitution method. So what I want to do is I want to subtract a y from both sides of the second equation. Oops. And what that's going to give us is that x is equal to negative y plus 1 or 1 minus y. And the first equation will just stay the same. So now, since we've written x completely just in terms of y, we can replace um, this x into the first equation. So doing that, we get x squared, but x is minus y plus 1, right? So I'm actually going to write this as 1 minus y, which is the same thing since addition and subtraction are uh, commutative, correct? So, 1 minus y squared, which is x squared, plus y squared is equal to 25. And so now this is the new equation, and we have to solve for y. Um, so, the first thing we do is we FOIL out 1 minus y squared. So what do we end up getting? We get 1 squared, which is just 1, minus y, minus y plus y squared. So this is y squared minus 2y plus 1. So we're placing it into the equation. Plus y squared is equal to 25, right? So now combining like terms, we have these two y squareds, which we can add together to make 2y squared minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 25. And so the last thing we want to do, since this is a, a, going to become a quadratic equation in y, we want to take a 25 from both sides. So we have 2y squared minus 2y minus 24 is equal to zero. So factoring this out, and you can use the quadratic formula if you want, um, but these actually factor out into, let's see, it's going to be 4 and 6, and so this is going to give us negative and positive. And that's just a conjecture, and what I always like to do is check by foiling these back in. So we get 2, oops, 2y squared is the first term, minus 8y plus 6y minus 24, which gives us 2y squared minus 2y minus 24. So that's equal to zero. So using the zero factor property, then 2y plus 6 is equal to zero, or y minus 4 is equal to zero. So y is equal to negative 6 over 2, which is just negative 3, or y is equal to positive 4. So now we have these two values for y. But this system is in two variables, right? We have x oops, all the way up here. We have x and y. So now what we want to do is plug in the values that we found for y into one of the two equations to solve for x. And since the second equation is, is much easier to plug things into than the first, then let's do that. So we had, oops, let's go back up. x plus y is equal to 1, right? So we want to plug y is equal to 3, so y is equal to negative 3, and y is equal to 4 into that second equation. x plus y is equal to 1. So when y is equal to negative 3, then x plus negative 3 is equal to 1, which
which means that x is equal to 1, adding a 3 to both sides, plus 3. So x is equal to 4. And then when y is equal to 4, x plus 4 is equal to 1. So x is equal to 1 minus 4, which means that x is equal to negative 3. So now we write our answer in terms of the ordered pair x comma y. So the solutions are, well, when y is equal to negative 3, x is equal to 4. So when x comma y, that's going to be 4 comma negative 3. And the second for the second set, when y is equal to positive 4, x is equal to negative 3. So this is going to be negative 3, comma 4. So those are the two solutions for this nonlinear system of equations.